Hey everyone and welcome back to my second Power Query tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the if statement in Power Query using Power Query M code. So I have some data here, uh, essentially a list of passengers that were on board the Titanic. And you can see here in column B, I have the class that they were in, whether they were in first class, second class, or third class. Now what I want to do using an if statement is I want to change three to third class, two to second class, and one to first class. So I did that easily in Excel using a simple if formula up here. But with Excel, the if formula can get a little bit complicated, especially if you have multiple cases. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Power Query. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is import our data into Power Query. Now, before we do that, I'll just delete this column here. So we're going to do it a different way. So we'll go to our data tab and we'll do from table or range. Excel will automatically detect the table that we want to import. We'll hit OK. And now our data has been imported into the Power Query editor. So I'm just going to give our table here a name. Passenger. Yeah, by the way, I'll link the data set down below in case you want to follow along. And we'll get into our if statement now in the Power Query editor. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to our table here. We'll go over to the add column tab in the ribbon, and then we're going to insert a custom column. There we go. We'll give our custom column a name and we'll call that new class. We know that our old class is stored in the P class column. So that is the column that we're going to be referencing in our new custom column here. So let's start off our if statement. It begins with if, and then we'll input our P class column. And we want to say if P class equals three, then third. So that's our first part of our if statement. Now we want to cover our second case. So we'll say, else if, and again, we can double click P class here. If P class is equal to two, then second, we'll put that in quotations because we want it to return a string. And we have one more case. So because this is our final case, then we can input else. And for that, we will just put We need a space there. So from the top, we have if P class is equal to three, then we're going to return third. Else if P class is equal to two, then we're going to return second. Else we'll return first. So we don't need a condition here. This is just the default. So if it's not three or two, then it's going to return first. So let's hit OK. No syntax errors have been detected, so we know it's good to go. And there it is. So we can see here as well, a step has been added in the Power Query editor. So Power Query will remember the steps you add. So whenever you change the data in your original table, all you have to really do is hit refresh and the column here will automatically calculate. So let's go ahead and load the data to our spreadsheet. There it is there. So for example, if we go back to our original data source here, and let's say I made a change to the data for Mr. James Kelly, and I changed him to first class. So now let's go over to our Power Query table where we have our new custom column. Right click. We can see it's third class here, third class here. Let's go ahead and right click and hit refresh. And we can see that it automatically calculated the new column when we changed the source data. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It really helps and encourages me to make new videos. And I'll be back soon with more Power Query tutorials.